Just day everyone. Just chucked it down today. Um, I actually came fishing this morning um, for my usual one hour session. Absolutely soaked through. Um, stayed for about 40 minutes before giving up. I was fishing the swim just next to me. Uh, 15, so I'm gonna be fishing 16 now. There's been a guy on here certainly this morning. I don't know how long he stayed, but I'm working on the basis some food's gone in. There'll be fish about. And it is currently the on the form peg. There's nobody else on the entire lake. Not surprising given the weather, apart from me and this lovely term, who is currently taking whatever he can off the top and scaring all the fish he flies over, the twat. But anyway, that's his job. Can't really tell him off for that. My job is to try and catch some fish that he hasn't got hold of. See what goes on. As usual, this is a stupidly short session. I've got to pick my son up in 35 minutes. I've uh, got my tackle out, I've got a pole. I haven't cast in yet, I haven't plumbed the depth yet. So I've got all that to do. Put in, yeah, yeah. And I've just bounced the first fish off a small roach. Um, Cause I'm fishing this lighter tip. I may have to swap over if this keeps happening. Sorry, this stronger elastic. Uh, just so bounced off yet another fish. So that's two put-ins, two bites and potentially two fish. This is the third put in. Oh, it's starting to rain again. Please go away rain. I don't want what I had this morning. I got very wet. That's um, that's the first fish that I haven't bumped off so far. Put it back in. It's not in good nick. I'm not happy about that. Let's see what's happened to that. Conversation needed, I believe. Right afterwards, a gudgeon. Not a bad size for a gudgeon. Get that one back in as well. So, a couple of fish in succession. And got another bite on now. Something going on anyway. My little perch. Get that one back in. So we've got about another 10 minutes left. It's been a ridiculously short session as always. I know a lot of you comment on why are my sessions always so short, but um, it's just the time I've got available. Sorry. The one off the pier the other night was a longer session. Hope that was appreciated. And a bite. lovely Next perch. Just get that I back. just had another bite and it was a bigger fish. This looks like another, another roach. Oh, actually, that's the first roach this evening. I had a few bounced this what would have been my last fish off. Um, I'm going to have to go now. So, uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. I hope it was all right. You liked and subscribed. These little short evening bursts are amazing, to be honest. She can really. Get some interesting stuff there's a perch and it's off i really think this elastic's just a little bit on the tough side for what i'm catching here so yeah i hope you like to like and subscribe um i think if i fish this peg again i'll be using a, a lighter elastic this is what i need at batley's pond but here there's a lot more smaller fish coming in and they're getting bounced off all the time on the barbless hook and I don't want to use micro barbs. Happier using barbless where I can. So um, yeah, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye. Video of this coming onto my feed where I was fishing now. Bream, I think. Could be a roach. I'm not sure. It's moving into location. Thanks. Now I'm not sticking the pole out there. You can come on and feed to your heart's content. Ah oh, well. Ah oh, well. Nearly back to the car. I'm a bit disappointed to be honest. Um, I put in ground bait this morning with some dead maggot in and I definitely had bigger fish once I started fishing. Tench, decent sized rod, etc. So I think my mistake today was because I was so short on time, even shorter than this morning, I didn't bother putting in any ground bait and I think I'll uh, not make that mistake next time. It is a gorgeous lake. 
And if you didn't see the splashes and movement while I was fishing, there's a lot of fish on in here moving about. But I've got to go and pick even man up. Thanks for watching. As I said before, please like and subscribe. I know it's a boring mantra, but it's what keeps us interested in keeping doing it. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to meet you all on the bank sometime. Cheers.